Hey guys, so I just had a crucial piece of like awakening come and hit me yesterday, from yesterday into today. Um, some of you know that I had a really hard time last night with some energies and my solar plexus was completely hurting really bad and I know it had to deal with my twin flame. Yesterday, spirit, I pulled a card and they told me make no judgments. And I'm like, I don't judge people, what does this mean? And it just hit me like a ton of bricks. I may have made a mistake. Um, I don't know what's happening. There's more than meets the eye with the twin flame. I don't think he cheated. I don't think anything like that. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so um, my initial reaction was to jump into my trauma from the first time around of what happened to me, but being that, you know, Lucifer took over and I almost died in every way. And so I did get scared. I didn't sleep well and I, I uh, made some judgments. And I want to apologize in every single way. I make no judgments to what my twin flame is going through or the fact that he's not coming through. I have faith that he still will. I don't know. I don't feel good. I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to focus my energy and change that shift and try to correct any judgments that I may have made. Okay? Um, so I'm going to do a quick twin flame, twin flame message. I said I wasn't going to, but I feel like I made harsh judgments due to my trauma. From the first time through and this also makes sense for why they said I had to let go of heartache and things that have happened to me and to make no judgment so I ask of all of you to have faith that everything is still okay and I would I'd like to call on the Creator and all the angels too Malachi is definitely stepping through to provide me a message of what is going on with the twin flame journey please thank you I made judgments um, and they're also telling me oh uh oh fuck Yep, tower moment, okay? He's, there's a tower moment going on. And that's probably what I was feeling, okay? And I made judgments that he was just cheating on me and hated me. And he's probably hurting. Okay, so there's tower moments going on with the Divine Masculine. And it is affecting the feminines in every way. Um, there's endings and new beginnings with materials harvesting so it's like um, we're making way for abundance okay we're making way for what blocks prosperity that's interesting Let's see what else they're saying pull the rest so I'm like okay um, th the tower moment came out very quickly okay so there's definite tower moment going on um, it, it's probably just because of fear and I'm very sorry for the videos last night and for making judgments that I didn't mean to. Um, it was out of trauma and the stress of this situation with the Twin Flame journey. So I want to apologize to my Divine Masculine for any mistakes I may have made, any harsh judgments I may have sent his way. I pray he is okay. Creating a firm foundation is about creating a firm foundation and I get that and that's kind of what hit me this morning so this morning I did some Tai Chi some yoga all these kinds of things and then all of a sudden it hit me it's not what I thought at all I need to be able to push through those harsh energies sometimes because they present as falsehoods and I know this I've learned this the hard way through my twin flame journey already and I do greatly apologize for any harsh judgments I may have accidentally made just because of the way I was feeling and it's hurtful in every way okay so I don't think I don't think he cheated I don't think it's anything like that okay we've got changes so these two are both coming out financial and material changes material harvest and those all have to do with your grounding and foundation and the earth and pentacles okay so instead of focusing on that, let's focus on our foundation, getting connected to the earth and our financial prosperity, okay? And that's what they're saying, all right? So there's a tower moment going on with the twin flame journey, and we need to stop the focus for a little while on it, and that's what I'm going to do, okay? But I wanted to make any apologies that I needed to make. I love him. I still very much so love him. I'm not moving, I'm not deviating, I am still here for him, no matter what happens. But I will turn my focus solely on my success and my career, and nothing more and nothing less, okay? 
and that is what's being asked of us in every way. And Malachi, okay, so Malachi is stepping forward. He says, I've got it. I've got it. I'm doing it right. This is exactly what it was about. Okay, so he's learning a lesson, but so am I. I'm learning a lesson in um, not allowing what is presenting to be the solid foundation. It is truly about allowing ed energies to push through in the difficult times or challenges that we may be faced with and not making assumptions in the moment, getting grounded, getting connected to the earth, getting connected to my own energetic flow and the love that is inside of me, and letting that navigate everything through and through and going through with faith through eternity, rather than judgments and assumptions from the old world. That is a divine masculine and divine me feminine thing right now, okay? That's what's going on. So if you're a feminine, please hear. If you're a masculine, please hear. This is very urgent. Very urgent going on here, okay? I'm going to pull one more of these, and then I'm going to do, they're asking for my love deck, um, the love oracles, okay? And I don't really use that deck very often, so I'm hoping it's good. All right, there it is. Patience. Please have patience, because things are cultivating. Things are becoming anew, all right? And so um, when he has a tower moment or the divine masculines do, the divine feminines feel it through and through and we feel it as being presented as something that could be false. So we need to make sure we are getting a firm foundation in our emotional aspects and our physical aspects that we remain grounded and focused on what matters in the moment. What matters in the moment is not constantly placing our focus on why is our masculine not here. It's giving him space and letting him know that we love him through and through. Holy shit, balls! I'm very sorry for any judgments I may have made. I, I really am. I really, truly am. I love him. I can only hope I didn't create any damage through that really difficult energy. It's because the first time this happened, I was being killed. And so my trauma hit, and my solar plexus was in knots, and I couldn't sleep. And so I did do a video last night, and we talked, and we didn't really come to harsh judgments. It was a really nice conversation, but still, my mind goes to, he doesn't love me, he doesn't love me, he cheated on me, he's with somebody else, he went back to her. All of these things go through my head. Those are judgments. Those are absolute judgments. It is imperative we get out of our head and we just allow the energy to flow. This is a very difficult situation. This twin flame movement is very difficult to navigate through. It is not easy and it's unprecedented. It's never been done before. So I will take a step back like I did this morning. I will reground my energy and I will only do the flow. I will be in the flow only and that is what I'm asking for all of you. There is a huge tower moment hitting the divine masculines at this time. Our purpose is to create our strong foundation, be in patience with no judgments and know it's cultivating in faith and it will come through. So much love to all of you. Please forgive me. I love you. I love you and divine twin flame. I love you. I'm here for you.